Hello and welcome to a shorter version of the weekly podcast from Haikinjo. My name is Andrew. We're going to dive straight in and talk about 15 ways that you can boost your bank balance during the cost of living crisis via the Haikinjo app. Let's go. So this is based on our recent blog on the Haikinjo site, 15 ways you can boost your bank balance during the cost of living crisis. Um, I'm just going to go through a few of those ideas and yeah, hopefully you get some inspiration to earn some money. So number one, if you download and sign into the Hikinjo app, number one, you can sell your unwanted clothes on the app. So every single one of us, I can bet, has a special place in our wardrobe where we keep all our clothes that we know we will never wear again. I don't know, maybe we bought it once for a wedding or... A birthday party or something but uh, we've worn it once we've just stuffed it in the back of our wardrobe to to stay there forever <laughs> so yeah log on to the app post an ad saying that you you have i don't know whatever it is a pair of shoes a, a jumper a jacket uh, that you want to sell uh, in your neighborhood and wait for the offers to flood in and secondly you could sell your unwanted furniture so if you've got an old armchair, a chest of drawers, anything like that, that's just collecting dust and, you know, you don't you, you find out that you don't need it. Maybe you're doing a bit of a spring clean. Log on to the app, um, take a picture of the, uh, the item, uh, post an ad, give some information about it. You get to you get to create some space in your house. Somebody gets a bit of furniture for a cheaper price than usual and you get to make some money on top of that. So there you go. Another idea, uh, diving into um, hobbies and professions, is that you could offer your services as a DIY expert. Me personally, I'm not a fan of DIY. I'm not very good at it. So yes, I usually have to hire somebody to do bits and pieces around my place. But yeah, if you if you are one of the people who like DIY, then by all means, create an ad on the app for free and earn some money as, as a DIY expert. You could be fixing hinges on doors. You could be fixing washers on taps. It could be anything like that. You get to earn yourself a little bit extra. You get to meet some people in your neighborhood and uh, and they get their, their bits and pieces fixed. So everyone's a winner. Adding on to that, if you are bilingual and you can teach a language, then um, the app is a great place for you to do that, um, whether it's French, Spanish, Italian, German, Portuguese, Chinese, or indeed English. Log on to the app, offer your services as a language tutor, and and yeah, earn yourself some money. Comprehendio. If you can teach an instrument, then please log on to the app and offer your services as a, um, a musician and a music teacher. Uh, you know, whether it's a saxophone, the guitar, piano lessons, anything like that. I think since the lockdown uh, a few years ago, people have become interested in in uh, instrumentation again and playing instruments and music. And yeah, according to research here, apparently 70% of adults who cannot play an instrument regret never uh, having learned one. If you're one of those yourself, then log on to the app and see if there's any uh, tutors in your area. But again, if you are a musician and you're looking to earn a bit of cash, then go to Haikinjo and promote your services. For any animal lovers out there, you could offer your services as a dog walker. Dogs need walking around three times a week. And for whatever reason, sometimes they just don't get that amount of exercise. So do somebody a favor in your area, take that responsibility from them, earn some cash and get to spend some time with an awesome four-legged friend. Adding on to that, you could also promote yourself as a pet sitter. Uh, if somebody goes on holiday or they need to go away for a few days, you could offer to look after their pets uh, be that in your place or their place and we all know how expensive kennels uh, can be so you would be doing something somebody a big favor in your area by taking on that responsibility and earning yourself some cash in the spare time i would draw the line at looking after a tarantula personally that's just me
Um, delivery services. If you are mobile and you have a bike or a car, or indeed if you like your walking, then why not offer your services as a delivery person? Say you're going to the shops, you could you could put a note on Hikinjo asking if anyone needs anything picked up or their weekly shopping doing. And yeah, kill two birds with one stone. You get to earn a bit of money. You get to do your neighbor shopping and everybody's happy. So there you have it. There's just a few ideas that will earn you uh, some money and boost your bank balance. Download the Hikinjo app today and get started. Okay, next up we have Jasleen, who is going to be talking about the top roof bars to visit in the London area. So here we go. Enjoy. Uh, Jasleen, how are you doing? Hi, Andrew. I'm doing good. How are you? Yeah, fine. Thank you. Yeah. So this week, I, I'm quite excited because I hear you're talking about rooftop bars. Is that right? Yeah, prepare for sunny colors while you sip on choice of multiple cocktails and slushes. So yeah, I'm talking about rooftop bars this week. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it to you. Take it away. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to give you a couple of recommendations to the bars that I have been. I know there are multiple rooftop bars in London, but these are a few that I really like. And I have recently visited them again. Like, So one of them is if you're looking for something in central London, then you can head over to London Bridge Rooftop Bar. You can enjoy everything from, you know, after work drinks, gourmet burgers there to bottomless brunches and obviously the handcrafted cocktails. So this is set in the central London. It's called London Bridge Rooftop Bar. Then if you want to enjoy uh, iconic London skyline, there are two really uh, good bars. Uh, they're in the heart of Allgate. One is Jim Bolo and the other one is Floratica. Uh, Floratica, as the name only suggests, it's more towards botanical beauty bar. Interiors are very bright and fun. And not only does it provide with, you know, stellar views of the capital skyline, but also a premium menu of signature cocktail, uh, drinks, sharing platters and sushi. Mm -hmm. uh, Floratica is one of my favorite bars to go to, uh, be it in the evening after work. If you want to go to, uh, it's nice chill place, very vibrant, colorful place. Or you can also go there for brunch. It's a really good place to go for with beautiful okay. view. Nice. Yeah. Then you can go, uh, if you're looking for something in East London, you can definitely go uh, to Pergola on the Wharf. And this is a bar uh, where you make your way through the gardens to find this gorgeous place. It has fronting live DJ, bottomless brunches again, and uh, Sunday roast as well. Uh, also, I haven't been here. To, uh, I haven't been to this place for drinks, but I went for dinner once. And the place in itself is very beautiful. You can enjoy the sunset. They have indoor and outdoor sitting. Uh, never tried the drinks, but the food is really great. Mm. So uh, another one, uh, if, if you actually want to go towards Central where you can have a look at St. Paul's, uh, the, uh, two of my favorite places to go are Madison. I don't know if you've ever heard of Madison and the Sky Garden. Uh, so both have stunning views of St. Paul's and both of them have tasty tapas menu. They have creative cocktails and Sky Garden uh, is some uh, a place if you love nature, it's more of like, you know, gardens inside and plants and a uh, pretty sunset view both of them really have but i would say sky garden madison is somewhere you need to get bookings done mm. and uh, uh, sky garden you sometimes have to wait for two three weeks to get a book booking so if you're looking to go here you should pre-book yourself way in advance you really don't get it's hard to get in then oh wow okay yeah have you got yeah. any connections you can get me in quickly <laughs> I wish I had, but oh. I really don't have. Yeah, okay. I don't have. Yeah. And they also are very particular about age. Uh, so I think 21 is the age limit here. It's not 18. It's not like... Uh, so most of the bars that I'm mentioning about, uh, just check the age before you go because uh, it's either... It's not 18, definitely. So it's 21 and they're very strict with their age policy. Mm. And also most of the bars have a certain limit like 50 pounds per person that you need to spend. So just have a look before you are booking them. 
Cool, will do. And I'll make sure I bring my passport just to prove that I'm over 21. Yeah, passport or driving <laughs> license, anything works. Okay, great. Yeah. Like for us, we have BRP. So BRP works the best for us. If you don't want to carry or, you know, worry to lose a passport. So we can just take a BRP. Cool. Uh, this there is this another bar uh, called Bar Elba. Uh, I visited this last um, Sunday. Uh, I actually did not know about it, but I had somebody who was 18, and we could not get to any bar, so uh, ended up going to this. Uh, it gets it, it gives us 25% student discount also, and it's it's in, it's it's inspired by some island theme since it's tropical uh so everything is very you know a uh, tropical related so they have coconuts in one corner hanging the other is too flowery and even though um it has a shed it has a, rock, a rooftop bar as well so like multiple floors it has and then you can enjoy the entire view of london you see saint paul's you see london eye tower bridge everything from one uh place wow. so it's a great bar to go to it's not a very fancy bar it's mm. a very chill vibe sunday vibe you can go to with loud music and uh, enjoy a couple of drinks with your friends so they have a, a very long even the food was good so it's something wow. yeah somewhere to go nice uh, and then one of the most loved rooftop bars, uh, pairing again with the view of St. Paul's uh, and with outdoor terrace is Sabine Rooftop Bars. It has stunning cocktails and small plates to accompany with again. So it's called Sabine Rooftop Bars. This is also very nice. Uh, and the last one on my list is Seabird. Uh, it boasts River Thames view and views from 14th floor. Again, yummy cocktails, drinks, enjoying company with your friends. Uh, so these are the bars that I would really recommend, and one bar that's uh, on that's on the list to go to is Aqua. Again, if you want to enjoy the sky high view, I really couldn't book myself uh, in here. Have been trying, you know, since a very long time. Mm. And Sushi Samba. So both of them are on my list to go to. Aqua and Sushi Samba. Okay, and they're both yeah. in Lo uh, all these bars in London that you've mentioned. Yeah, all of them are in London. Sushi Samba, I actually could never get a booking. Uh, I've been to their food. Uh, I've tried the food, but never like, you know, uh, sit, sit at the bar and enjoy the drinks. Uh, tw twice, I think I tried entering without reservation and they kicked me out. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. <laughs> There's one more very famous bar. It's called The Alchemist. A lot of people uh, go have drinks. Their drinks are very fancy. Um, uh, it isn't a rooftop bar, but they normally have sitting outside. So you can enjoy indoor or outdoor view. I live in Canary Wharf, so I j I'm just like five minutes walk from The Alchemist. So I go there very often. Oh, nice. The Alchemist. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, yeah. Thanks very much for that. I was wondering, actually, how do you know so much about uh, these places? Oh, so I run a food and travel blog. Uh, I have my blog on Instagram. It's called Paradise on My Plate. Uh, and it's been two, two and a half years that I've been running that now. Wow. So that is why I know about these places. Uh, so during COVID, I started posting a lot of recipes on the uh, page because I could not go visit restaurants. But yeah. yeah, so maybe if you have more questions, I can answer it. Yeah. Sure. So do you um do you get? This might sound a bit rude, but do you get paid for this? Is it like a, like a side hustle you've got going on? So I started my blog because. Uh, so I come from a city called Jalandhar, which is in Punjab, India, and uh, they have a lot of street food vendors. Some of them have been there for about 100, 200 years since my grandfathers and great grandfathers, you know, when they were kids since that time, that old. And the taste has still been the same. So I wanted to and my family has been very foodie, you know, it, mm. they're very food. So. My dad used to take me every Saturday or Sunday to such places. I know people uh, people are worried about their hygiene, but he wanted me to try whatever they had been eating since their childhood. Mm. And I wanted to make these vendors popular in my place and let people know that something like this still exists and they should also try street food and not 
be so particular about hygiene and you know going to fancy places only because the taste actually lies in their hands okay. so that is why i started this and uh, the initially i never thought i could actually earn through it hmm. but yes i do earn because more the views you have more comments you have more your reels spread more restaurants invite you so it's not that instagram pays me uh, they have started paying now but it's it uh, it is they have a lot of you know if you have 5000 followers if you have a certain number of views only then they pick and choose you and then they pay you they, which they recently started and the pay is not too high like youtube pays you very well uh but restaurants invite me for food tasting for soft openings you know for reviewing their food uh, a lot of brands collaborate with me so yes i earn through that like i work for doritos i work for detol i work for coca cola i've done par- collab with wheat and a lot of uh, indian brands uh, small um, people who open something at their home so home cooks so yeah i earn through them so i promote their uh, Stuff well, that's I, why that's why you're always offering me doritos whenever we meet up yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> oh nice yeah. okay so yeah. um yeah that must be that must feel lovely you're getting paid for uh you know something you love one yeah, of your yeah. passions you know yes exactly so i always wanted to do journalism uh because i loved traveling and i wanted to enter that field of travel journalism but uh unfortunately i could not do it and then i and you know i always loved capturing pictures of food that i eat and my friends used to call me uh whenever i used to post that you know oh i saw that you were at this place what did you eat what did you grab so mm. i thought one day i was just sitting alone in my room uh in first year of uni and uh i had a i had this hot chocolate uh from the place called saddal Mm. It was the best hot chocolate I ever had, and the picture and the video that I took came so nice that I just looked on how I can promote it. So I found out randomly that you can write blogs, and that's how it started. And did not know that uh, I worked with such big uh, food travelers, food bloggers, travel bloggers from India who yeah. get about two million views on their uh, you know YouTube page. So I've collaborated with them. I have a lot of uh, episodes. uh an interviews that i've done with them on their page mm. i don't have a youtube page myself but yes uh i'm quite popular <laughs> when i go back <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm kind of a big deal yeah. Okay, yeah. oh nice well um yeah congratulations for it going so well and i hope it continues to grow um Thank but you. on on that note itself um i guess that's what haikinjo is all about it enables people to um to earn a living via their passions um and via their skills would you agree yeah i definitely agree and not only this andrew i think a couple uh, since i use the app a lot uh, i think a couple of days back somebody had come to uk and probably got to know about haikinjo she had posted about if somebody can take them uh, around and show what uh, you know um show them london touristy spots and stuff so i actually went and showed it to her it was a great uh, day i uh, met a new person and you know obviously i did not earn anything and i did not do it for earning but mm. i'm sure people are ready to pay or pay for your dinner or pay for your coffee and just meet them so yeah. it's a great way to earn any skill you have like i love traveling and i love meeting new people i love showing them around i've been here in this country for 5 years and i know i can do this say eh? so maybe i think i can also post and be like 20 pounds an hour and be your tourist guide at 30 pounds an hour which is a very good thing yeah yeah that's it and uh, i totally agree with you yeah no yeah i, th- I think the the great thing is uh, with haikinjo is that it's um primarily a place to meet new people and friends but uh you know a bonus of that is often earning money as well so that's how it should be viewed as and, yeah uh, yeah fantastic and um and you know if anyone's listening and if you've got a certain skill or a passion such as gardening or cooking or reviewing restaurants um as jasleen does uh then by all means log on to the app and um promote your services for free today and uh and you know meet some people and earn some money that's absolutely correct and no not only this i think even if you can just go do somebody's grocery and earn money or take a dog out for walking you can just do it or collect somebody's parcel on their behalf 
yeah everything is there on hiking jo i believe is just such a good solution for all your problems and you don't have to wait for weekends to you know work you don't need any documents you can just whenever you have time whatever you know time of the day you're free you can just go do something yeah that's it, it. that's it so um so yeah by all means uh, download today and uh, and get started we'll catch you next time and uh, thanks a lot for the updates thank you so much andrew it was lovely talking to you and sharing Cheers. all this information Cheers. Cheers. Bye. 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 Okay, thank you very much for joining us for this very short um episode. As I've mentioned before, the app is 100% free. Download it today, get started in your area, get making friends, get earning money, get hiring people. And yes, be excellent to one another. See you next time. Bye-bye.